We got that sous vide lamb loading. Getting my water bath right in the Instapot. Want to get that water at 135 degrees. Cause we're gonna sous vide the lamb in that for two hours. So I got my lamb all clean. Trimmed a little bit of the fat cap off. You don't want to trim too much off because I'm going to end up searing this after I finish the sous vide. You do want to make sure it's clean from any excess blood and also dry it really well on both sides. Okay, so we're getting ready to season the lamb. We got the cracked black pepper. We got the coarse sea salt. And then a little herb mix that I made. In the herb mix, I got ground mustard. Got some onion powder, basil, cayenne pepper, coriander, cumin. Uh, what else in there? A little fennel, parsley. And uh, some carrot and orange zest in there. And I also got garlic, oregano, and thyme in there as well. And again, I'm using coarse sea salt. I'm gonna explain to you later on why I'm using coarse salt as a pulse. So make sure you get the cracked black pepper on there. You know, all over. So yeah, we're putting the sea salt on now. I'm gonna take y'all back to chemistry later on. And I'm gonna show you why I'm using coarse sea salt. This whole thing with osmosis and water, which y'all gonna see. Now I'm putting on my rub that I made. Again, just be generous with it. And we're gonna season both sides. I know some people only believe in seasoning one side of their meat, which I think is very weird, but yeah, I'm not one of those. So now that we got both sides of the lamb seasoned, we're gonna get ready to put the butter and the thyme on the lamb and get it in the Ziploc bags so that we can get it in our water, which is now at 135 degrees. And I did research the Ziploc bags. Uh, they will be fine to go into the water bath. Uh, they are BPA free, and you won't have to worry about any contaminants or plastics getting into your food. So now we're about to put three slats or a little pallets of butter, unsalted butter, because we already got enough salt onto our racks of lamb, along with some thyme before we get ready to put these bad boys in the water. As much air as you can in the Ziploc bags, but a little trick we're gonna use, you know, science. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of cooking is about science. Uh, we're gonna let the water pressure remove the rest of the air out of this bag so that it's locked tight. Okay, so you're gonna take your bag, go ahead and put it in the water. Let it get down in there. Open it up. Then again, we just got a lot of again, we just got a lot of water pressure to remove that excess air out of there. Then you just go ahead and seal your bag up. So now that we have our lamb racks in the water bath at 135 degrees, we're gonna let it stay here for two hours and cook. Uh, this cooking technique is called sous vide. So once the lamb is done in the water bath, we're gonna put it straight onto ice or in an ice bath so that we can stop the cooking process. And then we'll end up searing both sides. So for the lamb chops, I will be making a Bernays dipping butter. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's gonna be Bernays today and a tzatziki sauce, I'll show you that. So I'm back, we done reached the two hours in the water bath. We're gonna get ready to transfer the chops to the ice bath to stop the cooking process. So yeah, now that we got the lamb in the ice bath, we're gonna let it sit here for maybe like 30, 40 minutes, just so that we know it's totally cool and the cooking is stopped. While we're waiting on that, we're gonna go ahead and make our two dipping sauces. That Bernays dipping butter and a tzatziki sauce. 
and then we'll be ready to sear the so meat. So for this Bernays butter dipping sauce or dip, we got our butter. We're gonna go ahead and add it to our little saucepan using a uh, unsalted. So we got our butter melted. We'll go ahead and add our fresh chopped tarragon. Uh, mint shallots and we got salt pepper and lemon so it's definitely smelling good here in the kitchen really nice aroma so I'm just gonna let this just sit there and simmer that's gonna be our butter dipping butter about to put together the tzatziki sauce now I got plain Greek yogurt, uh, dill, fresh dill, fresh chopped cucumber, garlic, salt, pepper, and lemon. And we'll go ahead and remove the lamb. So this is what you have after it's been sous vide. Obviously, you can't see in the inside, but right now it's cooked to a medium rare. That's what happens when you sous vide. Okay. So the reason I use the coarse salt is because you never want over salted food or over salted meat in general. And what the coarse salt does is just sits on top and the meat only takes in as much as it can hold. So I'm about to brown the meat now on both sides, or sear both sides. Be using a torch today. Eye protection whenever you're using a torch. Now whenever you're using a torch, you wanna use the tip 